We had some showers across the valley just a few hours ago. That's as a cold front made its way from west to east. Now it's well off to our east over parts of eastern Indiana. Now we could see a few sprinkles during the next hour or so, but for the most part, we're really going to start to dry out for tonight and into tomorrow. And ahead of that cold front, it was pretty warm today. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s. It was 63 in Casey, 64 in Effingham, as well as Terre Haute. Pretty close to the daily record high right here in Terre Haute. And it does look like tomorrow will be fairly mild as we start off February. A little bit cooler, though, partly cloudy. Tuesday, we're keeping a very close eye on the potential for some strong to severe thunderstorms during the late afternoon and into the early evening. And beyond the thunderstorm threat for Tuesday evening, it looks like winter will be making a return after all, feeling a little more like February out there for the second half of the work week. The temperatures across northwestern Illinois already dipping into the 30s, 39 in Mattoon, 43 in Terre Haute. Some of that cooler air is starting to funnel in behind that cold front a little closer to home. It's 43 in Effingham, 45 in Olney, and about 46 in Robinson. Most of us headed for the upper 30s for tomorrow morning. More specifically, around 37 in Terre Haute, upper 30s for the southern part of the News 10 viewing area. Not bad, usually considering we're about 20 degrees for the morning lows this time of year. Now we've been talking storms. Let's track some of them. Let's take a look at Futurecast. We'll start off midnight tonight, staying mainly cloudy, maybe a drop or two of rain, but for tomorrow morning, we'll start to clear out some of that cloud cover going partly to mostly sunny by the afternoon before a few more clouds move in for tomorrow night. And for Tuesday morning, here comes some rain showers by the afternoon. But about 3 p.m. here Eastern time, we could see some strong to severe thunderstorms move across the valley into the early evening hours for Tuesday. And with some of these storms, I think it's going to be a damaging wind threat and perhaps some heavy rain that we'll have to keep a very close eye on. And it looks like by Wednesday, early morning Wednesday, right around midnight, most of those storms should be out of the News 10 viewing area. And according to the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, a good chunk of the News 10 viewing area, essentially south of Interstate 70, is under a slight risk for some severe thunderstorms. Like I mentioned, some damaging wind gusts possible with these storms. It's something we'll continue to keep an eye on. And you can download the Storm Team 10 weather app for all the latest weather alerts on that day. So for tonight, temperatures will be in the upper 30s, low 50s for tomorrow, perhaps some upper 40s going partly cloudy to mostly sunny during the afternoon. And for your Storm Team 10 seven day forecast, temperatures after Tuesday diving back to the 30s, perhaps a few flurries early Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, kind of on the cool side, not bad, mostly sunny. Chance for snow by early Saturday.